everybody, Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. How's it going? Uh, I'm making a video today to announce my grip contest that I'm holding on September 28th. And it's called the Hold Fast Gauntlet. This is going to be a great contest. NAGS qualifier. This is going to be a qualifier uh, where if you come and attend, it's, full, it's fully sanctioned. All the events are per NAGS rules, all the weights are weighed, we're going to have a, a good group of people that are going to be qualified for nationals. It's going to be real easy, you can come hit this contest, you won't have to worry about doing any other events from now until next June when nationals takes place, because you'll already be qualified as long as you uh, meet the right qualifications. So, uh, what I wanted to do is I'm going to go over the events for the contest so that you know those. The entry form things are, are yet to come. I've still got to put those together, but they'll be posted very soon on dieselcrew.com. Um, for right now, I just want to go over the, the events. And what I'm going to do is just give you the general rules in this video. And then if you want a more detailed explanation of the events, you can click on a link that I'll put in the video. Uh, right here on the screen and you'll be able to click to it and go watch it and you'll see exactly how the event will be done. Now, uh, when I originally announced this event, um, the events were slightly different. So make sure that you watch this video so that you're fully informed. Now, something that hasn't changed is the first, the first event will be block set grippers. We're going to use a 20 millimeter block and what you'll be able to do is take one of the grippers You'll set it in your hand, you'll, you'll pass a 20 millimeter block between the handles, and then you'll take your attempt. You, there will be four attempts. We will be training, or we will be testing one hand only for the grippers. So whatever your best hand is, if you're right-handed, if you're left-handed, you can do that hand. We will not be testing both hands because I don't want the contest to run too long. I want this to be not a short contest. But I don't want it to be all day long either. You can make contests very, very, very long. So uh, I want to keep it relatively short. The next event, and this has not changed, two hands pinch. We'll be using the adjustable Euro pinch apparatus. It will be the same thing as always. You can use whatever width that you want. Uh, I do not have the adjustable apparatus, uh, the, the quick adjust apparatus. What I have is the normal apparatus, so the, the lowest uh, the, the smallest width will start out and will work up to the largest width. It will be rising bar and what that means is let's say the, the first group to go is pinching on 48 millimeters. Everyone that pinches on 48 millimeters will do, will do it first. We'll put the weight on, we won't take the weight off. So we'll start out at say 100 pounds and we'll work up to say 250 pounds, whatever the case may be. Once we're through that group then we will change to the next setting. If you're not sure what width to use, 54 is generally a width that is pretty good for most people, whether you have big hands or small hands. But you can train accordingly, and whatever you get good on, we'll do here at the competition. The third event, this is where one of the changes come into place. Um, the third event will be a 12-pound sledgehammer deadlift. What this is, is the 12 pound sledgehammer has markings put onto the handle. So what you will do is you will take a grip behind a certain distance on the handle. Let's say it's 15 inches. What you'll do is you position your hand behind the 15 inch mark. You have to pick the sledgehammer up in a parallel to floor deadlift with a coin resting on the head. The coin cannot slip off. You lift it up and you place it onto an 18 inch platform. It's, it's a very simple event. It's tough on the wrist. It's going to test your, the strength of your radial deviators in a static position. So it is challenging, but it's not a, a complex lift at all by any means. And you'll be able to train for this very, very well. We're going to use a 12 pound sledgehammer for that. It's four attempts, the same as block set grippers, two hands pinch and the sledgehammer, all four attempts to get your, your best effort. Take note, block set grippers, because they vary, are not generally done in a rising bar format. So if you start out too high, you can drop back down. The two hands pinch, you cannot drop back down. The, the 12 pound sledgehammer, I do, 
uh, I do not believe that is a rising bar event, so you don't have to worry about that either. Um, if it ends up being, I'm sorry, and I'll correct it, but I don't think it is. Now, the fourth event will be a speed medley. So what I will have is a series of challenges, and you have to get everything done in a minute's time. Okay? So your score will be based on however many points you can attain in that minute's time. All right? So the reason that I'm staying with a speed medley, fewer challenges in a minute, is because my facility is not as large, and I don't have the room to have 30 or 40 challenges uh, sitting around for everyone to try. So we're going to do a speed event. That's also going to help the contest go quicker as well. I'm also toying with the idea of running the fourth event at the same time as the fifth event. And the fifth event is where the major change is taking place. I originally wanted to run the axle deadlift, but because the axle is four attempts, we would actually end up running four events with four attempts, and it was going to take so long that uh, I, just, I just don't want to have a contest that long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the axle deadlift, and it's going to be one of two things. It's either going to be a hold for time on some sort of farmer hold or a frame hold or something like that. So it's going to be one effort held for time, and, uh, and that di dictates your score. Or we will do rest roller. Um, so we're, it's, it's just gonna, we're, we're just going to have to figure that out as we go. It's probably not going to be fair to everyone if we have these going at the same time, so that's pro that idea is probably going to be scrapped. But um, you know, we're, going to, we're going to take out that axle deadlift for sure because I just don't want the contest to run so long. All right, so there is the, the initial update. I will have more updates here on the YouTube channel and on my website for, uh, for the, you know, when I get the rules document put together, when I get the entry form put together and all of that stuff. That is coming. Um, just uh, had some, uh, some things going on lately that I haven't been able to get to that, but I wanted to get this out there. I know that we have about 12 people or so that have confirmed their interest in coming. Um, again, I have a small location. So I'm probably going to cap this off at 20 competitors. Any more than that, and the contest is just going to take far too long, and I don't want to have that happen for everybody. Um, any changes that take place, I will put up a video here on YouTube, and I will uh, post everything up on the website. I'm looking forward to it, and I hope we get a really good crowd. I know that we've got a lot of members from my website, thegripauthority.com, who are just dying to enter a contest. So that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to meet all of them in person. And um, it's up in the air right now as to whether or not I will actually be competing in the contest. It can be very hard to run a contest and compete at the same time. And because I don't have a core group of people around to assist me with that, I'm not sure if I will be able to actually compete in the contest. So that's, that's neither here nor there. That's not important. The most important thing is that if you want to be in a competition, make sure to be here in Wyloosing, Pennsylvania on September 28th. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment here below this video. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in September. Take care.